<laughs> okay, so what we are doing, for those of you who are just joining, uh, my name is Max Goldberg. I have an organic food blog called livingmaxwell.com, Vani Hari, foodbabe.com. We are at Natural Products Expo West in Anaheim, California, and after each trade show, Expo West and Expo East, I give my top five organic food products of the show, and Vani critiques them. We're going to show them to you right now. You can ask questions, and that's what we're going to do. So we're going to give you my top five organic food products of the show, and if you're just joining, please make sure you're following us here on Periscope, at Living Maxwell, at The Food Babe, and we're going to get started right now. Awesome. Cool. All right. All right. Product number one. What are we going to start with? Okay. <laughs> Cereal. This is the Kia Super Flakes Cereal from Nature's Path. I could not stop eating this cereal. I told um, I told the people at Nature's Path who were both friends with uh, the Stevens family, I said, this is the best product you have ever come out with. I think it's amazing. Here's what's really interesting about this product. I'm going to read you some of the ingredients. Sprouted grains, sprouted black bean flour, sprouted brown rice flour, um, coconut, palm sugar, honey, fair trade, cacao powder, sea salt. Really super clean. Six grams of sugar. Very low in sugar. Okay, so I'm going to open this. Are you okay with this? Yes, absolutely. I'm going to open this and taste it. Because okay. if I'm going to eat something like this, it's going to taste really, really good. Because this is like, like, let's just be honest. Junk What's food. that? This is junk well, food. Well, no, this is not junk food. This oh, is on. this is if you have children who are eating the sugary cereals and want to get them a healthy alternative to this, this is a this is six grams oh of sugar. Gosh. These taste like Cocoa Puffs. You How good are know? these? Why are you running out of battery? I don't know. We're gonna have to get. <laughs> no, to I gotta, I gotta unplug. We'll, we'll plug it in when it's ten percent. Okay. But these taste like cocoa puffs. They wanna. Can you wanna put that up to the screen there? There we go. These are what it looks like. Looks like little cocoa flake things. So real good. No soy. No, there's mm. no soy in this. No soy oil. Mm. No soy. These things I literally could not mm. stop eating at the booth, and and I was like. Here's here's when I know I've got a winner at at the show is I literally can't walk away from the booth. I feel like a pig. I'm at the booth. I'm like <laughs> shoveling food in my mouth like I haven't eaten in 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 months in and uh, that's like okay, this is a winner when I literally can't walk away from the booth. So, what's your thoughts on this? I love it. Um, you know, again, I think cereal is not something that I eat all the time. It would be something that I would eat as a snack, as like a cheat food. Not a cheat food. That's not even what I'm trying to say. It's just cereal. You want to see the box. Here's the ingredients. I'm a big fan of Nature's Path. I'm a big fan of Kia. I'm a big fan of sprouted grains. I'm a big fan of low sugar things to, here. I'm going to have to plug this battery in there. Yeah, that's okay. Okay. And um, How are we gonna I might have this? to hold it. Okay. Um, Maybe we can get Pam to hold it here. So. Hey Pam, can we get can we get some assistance here? So you know, I think this is really delicious. Um, I like, like how it uses coconut palm yeah, sugar like and honey right instead of refined sugar. I love that. Thanks. So I think it's a really cool product, um, and I like it. It's delicious. It's it's a dessert though. But this well, is let's be honest. No, this is this is six grams of sugar. This is That's not a lot of sugar. For me. This is not a lot of sugar. That's dessert for me. Okay. This is not. I'm sorry. This is not a lot of sugar. This is a delicious cereal. It's got the bean. It's got the bean flour. Black bean flour. I I, I love this. Okay. Product number two. Actually, it'd be really good on yogurt, wouldn't it? For dessert. Okay. Product number two. (laughs) This is a brand called. Look, everyone says dessert. Everyone agrees with me. I love you guys. I love you. They're all agree with me. Okay. Something that's awesome for your kids to munch on. Dessert or breakfast? Dessert or breakfast? You say no, no. Well, let's have them vote. Dessert or breakfast? Whatever you put, just type it in. Dessert or breakfast? Do you think that's a good breakfast or dessert? Ooh. Neither. Dessert, dessert, dessert. There's a lot of desserts there. See. Okay. I told you. Okay. Good dessert. Look at this. All oh, right. we have one breakfast, one breakfast and dessert. All right, good dessert. So, okay. But it's so got this... the black bean flour. When are you eating black bean flour for dessert? Never. No, black bean brownies. Who makes black bean, bean brownies? A lot of people do. Have you ever made black bean brownies? You know, I haven't, but I've seen some recipes. <laughs> you know, 
Please don't argue with Bonnie. I am. I'm being. I'm being reprimanded that I'm arguing with Bonnie. No, no, no. It's okay. It's okay. So, listen. It's a dessert. It's consensus here. We have a majority. Okay. Uh, <laughs> someone's been dinner. looking for a good cereal dessert. Okay. <laughs> Let's get on with product number two. Product number two is. Uh, this is one of my favorite brands of pasta. It's from a company in Canada called Tolerant, and they make the red lentil pasta, but this is really interesting. This is their green lentil and pea pasta. Um, this is 18 grams of protein, no corn, no rice, allergen-free. This is green lentil and pea uh, and peas. This is a really, I was, I, I've loved this pasta today. I'm a fan of the brand. Huge fan. Love this brand. Love this pasta. Bonnie, this is not a dessert. This is not a dessert. <laughs> Have this for lunch. Have this for dinner. I love, um, this lentil pasta. Yeah. I mean, all of the lentil pastas I've had are really delicious and I don't even miss the regular pasta. Yeah. I, because once you put some really good Tomato sauce, and actually my favorite tomato sauce is that biodynamic tomato sauce from Good Boy. Oh, yeah, yeah. So good. This stuff is... Price, legit. I don't know what the price is. I think it maybe it's seven ninety nine. I'm not 100% sure. I feel like that. Um, so I'm not 100% sure what the price is. 18 grams of protein. Uh, big fan of this. Tolerant green uh, lentil. You know, I'll eat one serving of something like this for lunch with some vegetables. I'll, like, chop some kale. And then I will put tomato sauce, and I'll boil this and mix it all together. And this will be a delicious lunch. It's been really, you know, cold in Charlotte, not anymore, but it was cold in Charlotte. And I just couldn't eat a salad in cold food, like all day long in raw food. So what I would do is I would chop up some kale, okay, leave it there. I would boil like pasta like this, get some tomato sauce, and then I would mix it all together after it boiled. Mm -hmm. And the the kale would welt a little bit, just a little bit, and get warm, and then I would eat that, and it was just like, you get 18 grams of protein, you get all the kale, you get the tomatoes, mm -hmm. it's just good good lunch. Yeah, absolutely. So, I like this. Okay, I love it. you like this. Awesome. It's not dessert. <laughs> Third product. I thought this was very innovative. This is the first shelf-stable uh, espresso Three ingredients, uh, coffee, organic coffee beans, raw cacao, and stevia. This is something you can, you know, take in your bag, and if you ever want a shot of organic espresso, for coffee drinkers who, you know, uh, for coffee drinkers, you can pop it in your bag and wherever you go, you never have to worry about, oh, where's organic coffee? I can do a shot of this espresso, and it, I, I thought this was really innovative. This is the first shelf-stable uh, espresso um, that they say anywhere. And what's really interesting about this is for every shot purchased, they're providing a polo vac polio vaccination to a child in need. So uh, interesting social mission, uh, but really innovative product. I really, I like the innovative products. So this is interesting because I hate that five-hour energy stuff you see at the checkout at CVS and Walgreens and all of that. So obviously I would want people if they need some like additional caffeine in their diet or need like a, a boost, I'd have them do this instead. Yeah. Right. Yep. So a uh, very interesting product here. I could definitely see I'm not I'm not a huge, huge coffee drinker. I maybe have once or twice a, a month. But I could definitely see this, and when you make a nut milk smoothie and you maybe you need some caffeine, you just pop one of these, and I, mm -hmm. I think it's pretty cool. I'm uh, sorry. I have, like, cocoa breath from the I don't notice. Dessert. I don't I notice. Mean, I, like, taste it in my mouth. Oh. Okay. All right. Fourth product here. You're falling out of the screen. I, I'm here. I'm here. I'm just letting you, you know, do your thing, and I'll come back in. Okay. Okay. <laughs> um, now, one of my top five organic food trends of 2016 was apple cider vinegar. Um incredibly healthy for you. It's got the antibacterial properties. And this is a company, um, Golden Brew, out of Oregon, and just really not well known outside of the Pacific Northwest. And this was such a smooth, clean tasting product. It had three ingredients. It had uh, organic apple cider vinegar, honey, and cinnamon powder. Um, three ingredients, just a gorgeous, smooth taste. Um, I just really love this. I like simple products. And how much sugar? Nine grams of sugar. Nine grams of sugar? Not. A, I mean, it's the honey. 
yeah. you're getting it from the honey. Right. Not a huge amount, but you know, with apple cider vinegar, it's uh, you know to make a, a, a nice drink out of it. Um, I don't know. I really like this. I like the packaging. Um, taste was phenomenal. So. This cool. was one of my top five products. What do you think about this? I, I just wouldn't probably drink something like that. So okay, it's it's not my favorite. Not your favorite. Yeah, got it. Last product. This is. I gotta some... be honest, right? We no. That's why you guys like follow and and support foodbabe.com. You know, I'm like brutally honest. <laughs> but I love apple cider vinegar by itself. I think it's great. But adding nine grams of sugar per serving, so those two servings in that bottle. 18 grams of sugar? I don't know. I just don't need to drink that. I don't need to drink that. What do you guys think? Do you need to drink that much sugar? Okay. True. Yeah, right on. True, People right. People are saying. That's what they're saying. Not a dessert. It's a dessert. That's a dessert. <laughs> <laughs> That's definitely a dessert. That's like a, like a, like a tasty beverage you want to just like drink and well look just... you know for some people who are new to apple cider vinegar and wouldn't do uh, apple cider vinegar and water they just need something a little bit sweeter to get acclimated to the taste I think mm -hmm. it's a I think it's a good um, yeah. alternative they're telling me to live a little live a little don't drink your calories okay last one <laughs> I got a preview of it today it is coming out sometime soon they want they didn't even want us to talk about ingredients but this product you are going to absolutely flip out over especially if you like coconut water from harmless harvest i'm going to show you a picture of it this is the show it up close like real close yeah like real close there we go harmless harvest plant-based coconut yogurt harmless harvest coconut yogurt all plant-based yogurt um this was awesome, and this is something that is going to be coming out sometime soon. They would not, uh, they did not want us to say when because I think they're still working out a lot of the manufacturing issues. Let me just tell you, I am so excited about this <laughs> coconut yogurt, none of the junk. Really excited, yeah, really, really excited. So, anyways, that's going to be awesome when that hit shelves. They were not showing this to everyone on the floor, they showed it to me, they were going to show it to Bonnie, but you, I guess. Uh, couldn't whatever get to the booth in time so this is they gave it very limited exposure to to us we wanted to give it to you first so you're gonna you're seeing it before almost anyone I think this might be the absolute very first piece of press that this has gotten people in the okay, industry so how many people that are watching right now have tried an almond milk yogurt or so delicious coconut yogurt and they look over in the package and it's full of all these stabilizers and gums and artificial ingredients and natural flavors and added sugar and all this stuff yes junk like all of these people see that this is going to solve it so excited about this i love when companies do the right thing so this is this i i tasted it it was awesome and this is one of the things you go to the supermarket you're like oh i cannot wait to get that yeah like you i know? cannot wait to get it and actually i should run back to the booth and try it yeah i think so <laughs> so those are my, my top five picks just a really quick recap the the kia super flake cereal from the cacao super flake cereal from nature's path aka dessert <laughs> number well i guess number two was the uh tolerant pasta green lentil and pea pasta this will be out in the next few months big fan big, big fan, fan of tolerance they're out of canada love them um this is golden brew apple apple cider vinegar tonic a gorgeous gorgeous taste apple cider vinegar super healthy for you not a fan not a fan <laughs> Uh, steam. These are sta shelf stable shots of espresso. Awesome. I, I love this thing. This is a great, great innovation. Really excited that that would probably, hopefully, one day take place of like the five hour energy disgusting drinks that are out there. Exactly. And then last but not least, as we just mentioned, harmless harvest coconut yogurt, plant based yogurt, vegan yogurt coming out sometime soon. So. That's uh, those are my top five, Vani. Let's just do a real quick recap. What was your give me your you know impression of the show or anything else you want to share in uh, in closing? I think we say this every year, but it just keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger, <laughs> and it is a complete circus out there. I mean, there are so many brands, so many new products, 
everything that I feel like I've written about that I want is being invented. And that is such a beautiful thing because I'm walking the floor and I'm seeing things like pistachio milk. I'm like, I'm making that all the time at home. And now they're like trying to bottle it. And like, and then I see like new inventions, like, you know, tr trying to, um, take, for example, pasta and make it more friendly in terms of health. And you see the coconut yogurt that we mentioned. I mean, now it doesn't have all of the different artificial ingredients and stabilizers that really destroy the gut bacteria and could, you know, cause intestinal inflammation. And so people, the food companies are listening to us. When we share our preferences and we share our concerns about what's out there, we are now getting the products we are asking for. And that is very, 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 very exciting. So I'm just excited to see these innovations continue and yeah. healthier <laughs> products that aren't as processed come about. Mm -hmm. And that's really what it's about because I tell you at the end of the day, you know, after the first day, I got, I'm just going to be honest with you, I got kind of. I don't know. Um, turned I, off. I got turned off. Yeah, because I'm. I'm just. I wanted to immediately go back to my hotel room and write an article. I hate processed foods. I'm sick of processed foods. Natural, organic. I don't care. Non-GMO. I'm so discouraged. Exactly. That's the word that I was looking for. I was just really upset because I was just sick. I want more access to real food, mm -hmm. and there are actually some companies here that are trying to do the right thing and mm -hmm. give us access to more real food and. Those are the companies I want to support. Those are the companies I want my refrigerator and my pantry. And that's what I'm the most excited about. Mm -hmm. Okay. Awesome. I think my big takeaway was you and I both spent uh, a good amount of time with John Foraker from CEO of Annie's. And Annie's, as you may know, was purchased by General Mills for $820 million. And it's really cool to speak with him and hear about how what's going on the integration of the two companies and how General Mills has really not interfered with the brand and has allowed Annie's to grow. I don't know if I agree that they haven't interfered with the brand. Um, I think they're... He, you know. he was telling me that because of the resources that he's able to tap into, they're able to roll out products a lot faster and that they have some really cool supply chain initiatives coming out. Well, I think the one thing people need to realize is when big, huge conglomerates buy smaller organic companies and natural companies that you have to read the label still. You have to check to make sure it's still organic. You need to make sure that you're checking the package each time. They're changing the packages faster than ever. Things are happening. I mean, I'll give you a really great example of that. Campbell's bought Plum Organics. Plum Organics was a all organic company um, and then as soon as Campbell's bought them you know they're in Target they're selling food to kids now that's not organic and not organic meat and dairy products and and some of their um, frozen goods and things so you have to be like very uh, aware of what's going on with the packaging and the ingredients and you need to continue to read them I'm not saying that Annie's is now done anything wrong I'm just saying that you have to continue to read the label I'll give you yep. another great example I was at Target for example and I my husband um, Mr. Food Babe loves Annie's organic cheddar squares and we're used to getting those and they have very you know distinct packaging that says organic and I'm used to getting those and then I saw a similar product that's also cheddar squares by Annie's at Target that wasn't organic and you know, one of my principles is never to buy non-organic dairy, you mm, know, because of course. so I was really shocked to see that it just looked almost so similar. And I, the first thing I did was email John Forker. I was like, where are the organic cheddar squares? Like what happened to them? What he said? He said they, they still exist. So, but they just created ones that weren't uh. to sell at Target. So it confused me and it, even someone who, you know, like me, who cares about every little thing they put in their body and reads ingredient lists can get duped easily by packaging or new products that are being created that look like organic products. So it's just important. And again, at the end of the day, let's just be honest here. The organic cheddar squares are junk food, <laughs> right? Junk food. I'm not, you know, there's no don't eat those on a regular basis but you know once in a while that they're fun to eat right like yep. processed foods are fun to eat occasionally 
and I, and I and I'm quoting actually Marion Nestle, one of my great heroes in the food movement. And it is true, they're fun to eat, but it's not something we want to eat all the time. And but again, when we're dealing with food companies, we need to read ingredient labels, we need to check packages, we need to make sure they say what they say. Yeah. And the other the other big takeaway is just organic is exploding. I mean, it is exploding and you can feel it. There's so many people that are getting into it. There's so much excitement around it because this is where the growth is. And, all, you know, it, it's really, it's very cool to see how organic is just continuing to take off because this is, this is the future. I saw less horrible products this time. Really? Yes. Um, I tell you, my radar for horrible products is really good and I saw less horrible products. So that was better. Um, now there are some trends that are happening with probiotics being yep. added to everything. Um, there's still the abundance of so many different kind of bars, um, and and then also you know I did not see as many bar companies this year. There's still a lot of bars. There's still a lot, but I didn't you know see a ton of them. We did see every single yeah. product in this show seems to have a probiotic in them. Yeah, a lot of It's incredible. All the drinks. If you Lots of protein powders, a lot of new innovation happening there. One of the products that I really loved tasting was Nativa's new hazelnut spread, mm -hmm. which is um, it's it's like 40% or 50% less sugar than Nutella, and it tastes really good and it's chocolatey and it's a dessert. It's again, junk It's not food. a breakfast. It's not <laughs> I don't think it's a breakfast. Sorry, John, if you're watching this, but I don't think it's a breakfast. I think it's a dessert food. It's for fun. It's for, you know, Sundays. It's for, you know, um, a treat food for sure. But, yeah. but I tell you, it's all organic, organic hazelnuts, which is yeah. kind of like unheard of. Well, Nutiva is very committed to organic. Yes, There's very not good. even a question when you get a Nutiva product if it's organic or not. One of the other cool trends that I'm seeing is turmeric. Turmeric, yeah. everywhere. Turmeric. That's a good thing. Yeah, very, very good idea. It's medicinal spice. It's been around for centuries. And, you know, my culture, Indian culture, has been eating it for a long oh, time. One, one thing I forgot to mention about um, Harmless Harvest coconut um, yogurt is they're doing something fair for life, which is a really cool initiative. I don't have 100% all the details, but they're getting involved with communities and standard of living. And, and I think it's beyond fair trade. Um, it's just how they're supporting the economy or the, or the people in the communities. And so it's a really cool. I wanted to give them a shout out for that. It's a very significant program, Fair for Life. And that's the other thing that I love a lot about a lot of these brands is they're all giving back to yeah. the environment, being socially conscious, having really good nonprofits that they're donating to or creating. Um, there's... I can't tell you a single brand that I've been working with that hasn't been giving back to the community because yeah. it's such a huge deal and it's it's so inspiring to see that they care about where their products come from, how it affects the farmers, you know, how people utilize their products, what they can do to make people afford their products, which I think is so important in the organic space. So there's just so much happening and it's really exciting. So if someone's asking what's behind us, this oh. is actually the press room here and they have um, products behind us that they give us in a big press bag and they kind of rate um, the best of West and it's I think some of these products actually pay to be in here so yeah. it's it's not necessarily what the best is and you know again we didn't get to see the whole floor you didn't get to see the whole floor and these are your picks that mm -hmm. you saw that were very innovative and eye-catching to you and I didn't get a ton of time to do all of the, the searching that I wanted to do because I was in book signings which is so exciting the Food Bay Boys out in paperback and um, and just a lot of different meetings and things and, and educational seminars that we've been in but mm -hmm. um, but every year there's something really cool, and I really do think that you found the best product with uh, the Harmless Harvest, which I'm really excited about. Oh, Vani, I appreciate that. No, it's a really, it's a really cool product, and I echo what Vani, what you were saying, is it's so gratifying to see companies who are doing business, especially in you know Thailand and Sri Lanka and places where they're you know getting their 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 foods from, whether it's coconuts or superfoods or cacao, whatever it may be. And they are really investing back into these communities. It's so nice to see. And when you talk to the founders about it, I mean, you can really see it in their eyes how that is the ultimate joy is to have this business where they can 
really impact the quality of life of these communities around the world. And it's, I agree with you. It's so cool to see. Yeah, absolutely. So, um, uh, so that's really cool. So I wanted to ask you a question. What yes. is your favorite part of the show? My favorite part of the show is definitely seeing all the people. It's cool seeing the products, no question about it, but it's really seeing the people that we, you know, year after year after year now, we see people here who are good friends of ours, and to see them, and also because there's so many of these people that we see who are also activists, and to see them and to catch up and talk about, you know, what kind of work they're doing, and just to um, just to spend time with people who care so deeply about we the same so issues much. that we that we care about. It's like our it's like our family. Yeah. I feel like so many people that we see and hang out with while I'm here, I feel like family. Yeah, I absolutely. really do. Like absolutely. it is it's like my brother from another mother, my sister from another <laughs> mister. It is it is just it that's the way it is here and it's so beautiful and you know what I where I get really inspired is I see these co these companies and the CEOs and the founders that are creating these products and they care so deeply about what they're doing but what's so interesting is they're really trying to disrupt the conventional legacy food brands that have been bringing us food for so long that the consumers are really losing distrust in and a really good example of that is actually Sarah Michelle Geller's new product food stirs there's also another product called mrs jones there are organic baking mixes that are just like duncan hines and betty crocker and pillsbury that you grew up with but it's all organic and it's like shelf stable and there some of them are being sent to you in the mail some of them are you can buy at the grocery store but it's taking on you know the trans fat filled you know duncan hines frosting and really re-engineering it and making sure that you know we can still have fun in the kitchen and bake and, and have convenience, but it doesn't have to have any of these really very controversial chemicals and ingredients that have been linked to health issues. You know, now it's coming to you at like as much real food as possible. Um, you're welcome for the Rishi Tea recommendation. I love Rishi Tea. I went and visited their booth while I was here and they came up with a new turmeric um, drink that is really delicious. And I wish I'd brought it here for this broadcast because it was really good. But it also has added sugar. So watch out for that. My book will be out sometime <laughs> this spring. Any final questions? We have to go or they're closing up the press room here. Any final questions for me or Vani? Thank you so much for watching. If you're just joining, we just did my top five organic food products from Expo West 2016. Vani critiqued them. We do this after each trade show. The next one we do, we'll do, it will be in Baltimore in September for Natural Products Expo East. Um, if you're just joining, please make sure you're following us on Periscope at Living Maxwell, at The Food Babe. Um, go over to food babe and com. if you're on Snapchat, I'm Max Organic. Uh, any question? Baltimore is in September. Yes, would love to see you guys. Thank you so much for watching and spending this time with us. We're about to go to a dinner, which I'm really excited about, with a bunch of activists, and we're going to be, I don't know, it's going to be delicious food. It's going to be awesome. Thanks for the book, Vani. Someone said thanks for the oh, book. Oh, you were so welcome, Danny Wellness. <laughs> awesome. Thank you, everyone, for watching. Appreciate you spending a few minutes of time with us. We really appreciate it. We love doing this after each show. And Vani, as always, this is our sixth time. Oh, so fun. Incredible. It's amazing. So fun. Thank you, everyone, for watching. Have a beautiful, beautiful day. Take care. Bye. Bye bye.